starting to get points in Colorado 18 years ago, I was a completely different person, a completely different elk hunter. That's a little better group, huh? I'd never even hunted out of state when I started putting in for Colorado. You know, maybe finding some consistent success as a elk hunter at that point. A lot's changed and uh, you know, a lot stayed the same, I guess. 10 hours from now, we're gonna be in the unit in Colorado and hopefully hear an elk bugle. started applying for Colorado it was just wanting to fill tags I just you know it's at that point where I'd I'd killed a handful of elk but really it was about just filling the next tag and really not knowing what the future held just knowing I needed to to start looking ahead and putting in if I wanted to have more than just these regular over-the-counter experiences of hunting elk in Idaho In 18 years, I've learned that there's multiple layers to success. You have a tag in your pocket, you're definitely looking to fill that tag, but getting caught up in how big the elk is or comparing it to somebody else's elk doesn't really make you feel successful, at least not, not a deep lasting success. Oh no, you know, I went on a hunt several years ago and kind of had a score in mind of what I wanted to shoot and it kind of ruined the hunt, so I don't have any, I don't have any expectations. Just when I see the right bull at the right time, the right setup, I'll shoot him. What were you expecting this unit to be like and what's your first impression? First impression is Velcro on private, which it's gonna be tough. The fence line runs be straight north there. So I think a lot of these elk are going down and feeding down lower than coming up and bedding on these ridges. So we'll probably go around from camp and hit some of that stuff. And when you have a a team of two where you've got a caller and a shooter, success comes so much more efficiently. And you're able to really focus on your job as the caller to bring a bull into the shooter and your job as the shooter, get a good shot on that bull. So it's just nonstop action. There's wiggling all day. We could call a handful of them. The really big bulls are up there at the cows. We gotta figure out how to, how to get close to them, how to get them close to us. The unit's about 70% private land. So that's gonna be our biggest challenge, I think, is finding elk on public land if we can't, then we've got to employ some tactics to try to pull them off of the private land, which can always be a challenge, especially going into the peak of the rut.
who we had. I couldn't tell you how many bulls, 15, 20 different bulls bugling all over on this private flat. We were able to call one across under us. But just a sliver of public land that goes up in here. And I really doubt anybody's ever been dumb enough to scale down the cliffs. Hope is we get up there. And stir them up. close to it. You know, to push the buttons, it takes getting close, and the closer you get, I think exponentially, your odds of pushing that bull's buttons go up. It's going that way. Gotta pull it that way. And if you're using the same calls from 400 yards away, it's going to be a completely different reaction if you're using that call from 150 yards away. You bring the drama into his kitchen, and he's, uh, he's not as happy about it then. time to put in to shoot an animal and then you shoot it and it's like it's over all that waiting anticipating next on you grow a lot in 18 years as a, as a hunter and as a person I think different person then than I am now, I think. I realize it's not always just about filling a tag, it's that quality experience, it's the, the learning, the experience and the adventure, it's, it's all these different things that really build what success truly is. And success is different for every person. Maybe learning something that you haven't haven't known, haven't seen, haven't experienced, being able to, you know, just challenge yourself to use elk hunting as that platform and, and grow as a hunter.